Greetings, Marsher, and welcome to episode 19 of my modded Factorio playthrough. And as a side note, this is a continuation of the recreation of the episodes that I lost from the hard drive failure. So, enjoy. Alright, I've loaded up the next save file, and it's time to move forward. So, what's the next step? Well, oop. <laughs> I remember I fixed this in the previous one, but clearly it wasn't fixed on this save file. The next step, um, basically we need to get some steel going because some of the later construction projects we're going to need to do are going to involve needing steel. And steel is one of the main components we're going to need for our uh, assembly line. So we might as well work on that now. It's an, an easy thing to take care of. But first we need to research it. And there it is right there. It basically unlocks things. It doesn't really have any original requirements. It's just a uh, red science. We get steel chests, which are nice, and steel axes, which are nice, and some building parts. Steel building parts for higher level steel machines. And steel pipes, which is an upgrade to iron. So let's research that. Looks like it's researching pretty quickly. But we're kind of low on resources here, so... Let's load up a little bit. We might as well fill up on our other resources while we're here. That's almost out. That's almost out. Looks like that's filled up all the way, so we need to, uh... Probably expand the amount of copper that these machines are gonna hold. Let's expand it to four slots. There we go. And I'm going to get rid of these. I don't think we need them. Then watch the next save file and they're still sitting there and I'm like, that's awkward. <laughs> Alright, so steel's done. Get rid of that flashing. Kind of got a little bit of junk in the inventory. Kind of want to clear out here. I'm going to take care of that first before we get going. On the steel. Okay, that box is filled. Um, before I do that, yeah, yeah, I don't have the steel yet. I was like, I could make a steel chest. Those are bigger. But don't have any steel yet, so can't do that. Alright, let's, uh, distribute this coal here. Boom. Alright, that looks a little better. Alright, so we need to make some steel. What is the recipe for steel? You see it is uh, 5 iron plates in 17.5 seconds, so 5 iron plates is only going to make one steel plate, so early game iron is a, or steel is a huge iron sink, it takes a ton of iron, so you, you want to be very careful about how much steel you produce until you've got a nice reliable source of iron, and we don't really have a reliable source, we just got this patch, and once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, unless we've got Prospector upgraded to search for the higher quality ores. So, for now, we want to be careful about how much steel we use. As far as where to put it, I was thinking right here. And as it turns out, that's where I put it in the other save file too. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm thinking this is a good spot is because it's really nice and close to the belt and it's out of the way. Nothing's really going to expand to take this slot. Like, see, this stuff might expand out this way or out that way. Uh, th this stuff could expand down. This stuff might expand sideways. Um, if we put it out here, you know, this space is kind of potentially taken up by these belts, which I've placed here as markers. Over here is going to be taken up by mining and uh, sorting and all of that. So, really, this is kind of a nice little convenient spot to put stuff. And let's do a little bit of math about how much production we want to have. These are going to be made, there we go, in a stone furnace. Stone furnace has a speed of one. And you see that it's going to take 17 and a half seconds to make one steel plate. So how much production should we have? Since we're going by having uh, six iron plates per second you know doing consuming six iron plates a second is the maximum we could ever consume so there's no point in building bigger than that so let's just go to that 
And the quick math I have written down here is that if one of these is going to take 17 and a half seconds to consume five plates, it needs 0.2857 plates per furnace. So to consume six plates, we're going to need 21 furnaces, but we can round that to 22 furnaces. And that might sound familiar. And the reason it's familiar is because we've used that exact ratio of furnaces before. We use them up here. Come on, keep walking. There we go. Up here at stone, we've got our 22 furnaces because as it turned out, we had about six stone per second of output. So we made all of these. So this is a good ratio right here. So there's no reason to redo it. And I'm looking at these just kind of sitting here. And I remember I removed them at one point. I don't remember if it was now or later, but I'm gonna remove it now and then look like a dummy when they're still there on a future save. <laughs> um, the reason why we don't need those is just because um, I could just use these as storage chests. I think this would be plenty of storage chests. I didn't need to have those extras sticking on the end like that. But, uh, all right, let's make a blueprint. I wanna copy, I won't copy the ore belts cause that's super easy to reproduce. So let's make that and through the magic of robots, we can build that whole thing without having to do it by hand. And uh, I'm thinking we should do some preemptive research before we start building. And something easy that we can start on is heavy armor. Just protection for the biters. It uh, just takes a bunch of steel and our light armor. And copper, which we have plenty of, so might as well research that while we're building. Um, so how much space are we going to need for this? Let's put it somewhere in here, so quite a bit. So I'm thinking maybe chop all the trees down starting here. Oh no, this is taking a while. I want robots. Alright, we're using robots. All the trees right there. Easy mode. Probably going to need way more robot packs here. Yep. Easy mode completed. Okay. Can put them, I don't know, something like that. Seems good. Let's let it build and see what we're short on. Seems like we're short on tons of inserters. We need a ton more. Power poles as well. Still short on inserters. All right, I think we finally got them all, so we need to make another uh, 21 stone furnaces. We're out of motors, so I might as well pick up some more while we're waiting on the crafting. All right, the heavy armor's done. All right, there we go. They're all hooked up. Now we need to get some coal to them. Wrong direction though. Um, how to get the coal in? Probably I'll just use this belt right here. coming. There we go. A little messy. Oh, looks like they already had some lights in this design. Oh well, let's do that. Oops, that's did not fix that. That's the wrong direction. Oh yeah, and it didn't do long-handed inserters because the robots don't do that yet. 
because they're bugged or whatever. These ones need to be long. There we go. And the input side is on the left. So let's put a splitter right here on the iron. And send it in. Let's see if this works. It should just about take all of these to consume that iron. We'll extend this down a little bit. Yeah, seems like it. It's just barely getting down there. So it's close enough for me. Let's hook up the steel. This belt is as good as any for that. And there it goes. Now we're pumping out the steel. Now under normal circumstances I wouldn't want to have all these connected because it would be very wasteful because all of these would fill up with 200 steel and that would just be a ton of wasted iron. So rather than do that, I'm going to cut them off up here so we only have four machines running. But for now I don't mind all of them running because we actually need uh, a bit of steel and there we go we have our bit of steel see that was quick and now let's cut it off so the input is there so let's cut it off right there so they'll consume all of that and then stop but we needed the 50 for the upgraded heavy armor which requires light armor and it won't build off of it if it's on our inventory so we want to take that out and now it will consume it, building the heavy armor. You see, the heavy armor is a lot better than the light. The light only has the the three resist to physical and twenty percent reduction. Well, it goes up to six and thirty, and that's also much higher durability. So we can do some serious biter killing with the heavy armor, which we now have. And now we have lots of steel. I'll just let it build up since we don't have an immediate need for it now. Got some empty machines here to pick up. Next we need to work on tin and lead, but that'll have to wait till the next episode, so I'll see you later.